Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing an Alatrion tutorial for the hammer. Uh, joining me we have uh, Tifa on um, using a lance and um, I'm going to be showing you guys um, the proper positioning and the proper uh, timing to um, get those uh, knockouts in and um, build up enough damage to break both of his horns. Now um, I've already managed to get the first knockout um, mainly because of the, the skills I have on this armor set which are uh, sharpness plus one and uh, high grade earplugs. Um, sharpness plus one is probably one of the most important if not the most important skill you want to have um, for a hammer um, mainly because your uh, sharpness level uh, increases your KO damage um, in the same way um, it increases your attack damage um, so um, getting to uh, purple sharpness um, you're gonna be doing uh, 50 po 50 percent more um, KO damage um, than um, than uh, you would at uh, green sharpness. Now, uh, high grade earplugs is also um, a very important skill um, because you're gonna uh, be able to take advantage of that and uh, land some uh, free super pounds on the head um, from the roars, uh, so long as you're uh, close enough uh, when he does them or in the right spot. Um, another important skill I would consider um, for the hammer would be um, definitely uh, focus. Um, if um, especially on a Latrion, um, that uh, little extra time you get um, uh, might make the difference in landing or uh, not landing a super pound on the head. Um, and let's see. Um, Probably uh, attack up large would also be helpful in uh, dealing damage, but um, critical draw might be uh, more beneficial in this case. Um, mainly uh, um, when you're using a hammer, you don't want to um, be sheathing your weapon a lot, but um, a Latrion is actually a different story because um, of you know how much ground he covers uh, when he's doing his attacks. You're actually want going to want to um, unsheath your weapon uh, quite. I mean, not unsheath, but you're going to want to sheath your weapon quite frequently um, so you'll be able to run um, and position yourself in the right uh, spots to um, be able to land those super, char um, those super pounds. Um, currently, my set has a punish straw, mainly because um, um, that, extra, that, that little extra knockout damage that it uh, gives me um, uh, it's gonna help me uh, get a couple of more uh, knockouts, um, or not a couple of more, but a little bit faster knockouts. Um, since it's uh, just uh, me and Tifa, I actually wanted to. Um, wow, that was actually um, that was actually a pretty lucky hit. Um, I wouldn't recommend. Um, I wouldn't recommend uh, trying to land a super pound uh, when he does those short charges, uh, mainly because it's um, it's a split second opening. Um, that uh, you're really not gonna uh, land uh, land the super pound in most of the time. Uh, it's actually uh, very rare to get that in. But um, yeah, my set has a punish draw. If you notice, um, the first hit on the super pound uh, actually um, adds um, KO damage because of uh, all the unsheathed charges I'm doing. Um, you know, I'm trying to keep my weapon put away. Uh, so I can um, get in the right spot and then um, instantly go into a charge. Um, you don't want to draw your weapon um, because um, it, when there's um, three other people, um, you'll tend to um, not just slow yourself down, but um, you'll you'll find that um, you'll you might be um, upswinging a lot of people um, if you tend to unsheath your weapon a lot. Um, you can also take advantage of the walls, but um, it is. Um, uh, semi dangerous if, it, as you just noticed um, if you don't uh, manage to get him to flinch or if you don't um, get out of the way in time um, then he will um, headbutt you with uh, with the wall and um, positioning um, you wanna um, have with the hammer um, is somewhat similar to um, the greatsword but um, you want to stick a lot closer than you normally would with the greatsword because um, you're not going to be able to run in and simply um, unsheath your weapon. You're going to have to um, 
uh, you're gonna want to have your uh, charge ready. Or you're gonna have to, you're gonna want to have um, your super pound um, ready and um, be close enough to um, actually um, get that um, get that to connect on the head whenever he gives those openings. Um, you'll notice a lot of the time it's just um, it's just uh, me getting close to him and um, um, getting my charge ready and then uh, rolling out because um, he's either gonna do a charge um, or he's gonna um, you know do something else and I'm not in the right position for so um, mainly it's just um, me hoping he does um, one of those moves um, either a taunt um, a sta uh, not a stagger a taunt um, a fireball or um, one, one of his other opening moves um, Knock knockdowns are also uh, very good to take advantage of. Um, you'll be able to um, get a super pound in, um, or uh, try to get a, a triple pound in. But um, uh, another thing to note is um, you don't just have to land uh, super pounds. Um, if you're not going to have enough time to charge your super pound, um, you should definitely try to at least get uh, a level two charge in. Um, it still does uh, a decent amount of damage, a decent amount of KO, um, and if you can't get the level two charge in, then um, you should at least try to get um, the level one charge in. Um, now um, here we go. We have another knockout. Um, as far as positioning for the knockouts, uh, I would recommend going uh, with just uh, the super pounds, um, and you're gonna want to place yourself uh, in about the same spot as uh, you would with the great swords. Um, a little above uh, where his head reaches the lowest point and um, you're gonna want to be letting go of your uh, super pounds um, when his head passes you just about at the center um, that that would give you the biggest um, opening the biggest window um, for your um, super pound uh, to actually land on the head um, and the super pound has a decent amount of splash damage um, so uh, so long as it's relatively um, close, um, it should be landing, um, it should be uh, connecting uh, with either the head or the base of the head. And um, right, right there you might notice, um, at, at times I do tend to attack the legs mainly because um, that'll give me an opening um, if, it, uh, if it gets him to stagger, if it knocks, uh, if it knocks him down. I'll be able to um, run over and get a super pound in on the head, and um, um, hopefully, you know, that'll get a knockout and um, start like a chain reaction. Um, and um, it's gonna hit me, yeah. Um, another important thing. Um, okay, thank you. Another important thing um, to um, to note is um, with the hammers. Um, Dash juice and uh, mega dash juice are also very handy um, because you won't have to worry about um, um, about uh, your stamina. You'll be able to just hold on to it a lot longer. Um, but definitely, um, you don't want to hold on to your charges forever. Um, if um, you know Alatrion is pretty far away, you want to unsheath your weapon, um, get a lot closer, get what get within uh, distance of uh, being able to land an attack and uh, unsheath into um, into a charge um, so uh, that's why I was mentioning critical draws actually um, a, a pretty good um, it wouldn't be a bad choice because uh, you're gonna be doing a lot of um, unsheath charges um, you know on a Latreon and um, unfortunately I couldn't get out from under his armpit and um, yeah I see what found it Tifa Um, so a, a lot of it is mainly um, positioning. Um, you just want to chase them down. Um, you want to be prepared for the super pounds. Um, be prepared for the openings. Um, and there are times he just doesn't give them that often. Um, but um, so you, if, if you're looking uh, to break the horns, um, you really just want to stick to um, trying to get those openings. Um, like right there, just um, continue to hit hit the head with um, you know the the strongest charge you can get. And um, since I have um, since I have punish draw, I was able to um, just uh, withdraw attack on the um, 
just uh, use the draw attack on that um, and uh, build a little bit of KO damage on that and uh, Tifa managed to get the tail off that's pretty good alright and uh, getting corner cornered and Tifa saved me again oh, um, so let me see um, yeah, so that uh, that pretty much covers um, the skills you want to have: um, sharpness plus one, high grade earplugs, um, attack up large, um, focus. Um, um, a good mix of any of these uh, would uh, definitely help. Uh, critical draw and punish draw are actually um, pretty good for this scenario. And um, the items um, you, you want to bring your basic items, you know your potions, your uh, flash bombs. You want to keep them out of the air as much as possible. Um, dash juices um, are very helpful for um, for hammers. Just uh, try try to stick um, you know as close to them as as possible uh, without putting yourself in danger. Um, you know, get your um, get your attacks in on the head. Um, as, as frequently as possible um, if you can get a knockdown um, you'll be able to get in um, and I got another knockout you'll be able to get in um, like a super pound on the head um, what else is there to mention Um, I'm kind of drawing a blank right here. Um, I mean, is, if there's any uh, any questions um, or if anyone um, you know um, wants um, wants a better explanation on anything, uh, feel free to uh, leave me a comment. Um, and um, you know, um, okay. So um, actually managed to break the horn off right there. Um, according to my clock, it's uh, 12 minutes. Uh, let me see what. Um no, that wait. Why am I staring at that one? Um, as it's just under uh, 14 minutes um, on um, the Monster Hunter clock, which is um, a little bit off, because uh, according to mine, it's about uh, 12 and a half minutes in. But. Um, um, yeah, that pretty much covers um, what um, what you need to know for the hammer. Um, if there's any um, other questions, just put it in the comments and let me know. Thanks.